this is RPX1234, and I'm back. But not with Minecraft, but with OBS. I will be showing you how to use OBS to record your screen and the basics of what you need to do. The version of OBS is 0.11.4 on Windows. The first thing you want to do is open up OBS and go to Settings. Go to General and make sure is your correct language is there. Next thing is to go to Audio. Go to Desktop Audio Device. Set your headphones or speakers that you want your sound to go to when you are recording. And then press Apply. Next thing is go to your mic audio device. Choose your mic and then press Apply. Next thing is video. You are able to change your resolution that you are wanting to use. But most likely it will be the one it has right there that's set for you. The next thing is hotkeys. You can set when you start recording and stop recording. So most likely you will use the start and stop recording. The first thing you need to do is the text box for start recording, click on it and then look around your keyboard and find the key that you're most likely not going to be using for the game or whatever you're recording and to push to start your recording without showing OBS in the beginning. I'm going to put page up as my start recording and then do the same thing but push another key. Then press apply. And then that will be it for the settings. Those are the basics. And the next thing is to record your screen. You can add a scene and name it. I'll be naming it OBS3. Make sure you have the correct scene selected and in your sources add. I'll be showing you the first four that people mostly use. The first one is display capture. You can rename it whatever you want. And it will capture your display. You can turn off your ca your cursor if you want to. Press OK, and it'll be capturing your screen. You can crop it with the four left, the four corners that it has. You can also do it with the eye and turn it off and on. The last thing is you can minus it or delete it. The next thing is window capture. Click on window capture, then name it, but I'll be keeping the same name. And you can select your window that you want to be recorded. And you can have your cursor capture and press OK. You can turn it off and on and of course crop it. And also you can move it, just so you guys know. And then you can delete it. The next thing is to add another source. And you can do game capture. You can press OK. You can capture any full screen application. Or you can turn that off and select a window. But right now I have no games open to select. Then you can choose what you want on. Right now, capture your cursor on and then press OK. Of course, you can crop it. But right now, since I have nothing there to record, it will not be there. And of course, you can turn it off and on. And you can remove it. The next thing is to add, of course, another sources, add, and a video capture device. When you add it, make sure you have the correct device you're using. This is sort of like face cam. 
and then press OK. As you can see, you can crop it, but right now my face cam is off. And as you can see, you can move it around and crop it to the correct size you want it to be. And also, you can turn it off and on. And if you select it, you can remove it or also delete it. Now the last thing I'll be showing you to do is how to have a face cam and whatever you want to put. I'm going to be using this display capture. I'll add that and then I'll turn that off for, the, for a moment. And then video capture. So then this will be the face cam. And then as you can see, make sure this is all correct. Press OK, and then now I can turn my display capture on, and you can see I can crop a face cam in the corner, and then you can move it around if you want in this another side or the other side and the last side, or if you want it in the middle for no reason, you can do that, and you can turn it off. And it will be transparent and turn it back on. Now, of course, you can delete it and remove it. Now, that will be the last thing I'll be showing you. I, will, I suggest using OBS. It is a lot simpler than EasyVid and Cam Studio Recorder. As you saw when I showed my screen, I was using Cam Studio. I've been having problems with it, but hopefully this video works. OBS is always good and very simple and easy to use. The version is 0 0.11.4 and I suggest it. This is a lot easier than the other two programs I've tried to use to record OBS. I highly suggest it. As always, there will be a link in the description to the go to OBS's website and download it. Make sure you go to the one, not the beta one, but the regular one. Please leave a like, rating, and subscribe. In the comments, Below, please tell me if you want um, more tutorials on things and if you want me to show you how to download OBS. Thanks for watching. Bye!